What's up YouTube, I'm back at another video and today I'm gonna go over five plays in the Celtics playbook and at the end I'll show a few clips of me using some of these plays against real people in Play Now Online. So that being said, let's get into it. The first play is the fist horns curl. You can call this for anybody that has pick and roll point or pick and roll bow handler priority. If you don't know what play priorities are, I'll leave a video linked in the description that can help you out. And even though this is a pick and roll play, I like using it to get some threes. So right here, I call it for Kimba and he's gonna start with the ball at the top. Then he's gonna get a screen from Williams and drive but as I drive Brown will get a screen from smart and go into the corner to get open for a three so this play is pretty good and I like it a lot and it really catches people off guard because once you come off that screen they're gonna be so focused on stopping the drive that they're not really gonna be paying attention to the corner so you can bait the defense in then kick out for some easy corner threes the next play is the fist loop two. You can call this for anybody that has three point priority and is designed to get you a three on the wing. So right here, I call it for Brown and he's gonna start on the wing and Kimball's gonna have the ball at the top. Then Brown is gonna get a screen from Williams and Tatum, run to the opposite wing and a lot of the times he'll be open for a three. And if he's not open, just hold the ball, then Williams will come and set a screen for you and then you can create a shot from that. So this play is pretty good and loop plays like this with this type of action are usually pretty good and pretty consistent. So you'll get a lot of open shots with this and it's also pretty fast. So even if you don't get a shot, you will have a lot of time left to create one or run another play or do whatever you want. Basically, the next play is the give 43 series. You can call this for anybody that has handoff priority and is designed to get you a dunk. So right here, I call it for Tatum and he's going to start in the corner and Kemba is going to have the ball at the top. Then I'm going to pass it off to Brown and I'm going to wait and Tatum will get a screen from both Kemba and Williams come up to the top. And when he comes up, I'm going to hand him the ball and then I drive and get a dunk. So this play is pretty good, but the handoff could mess you up sometimes because the handoff animations can get a little bit clunky and sometimes it'll like stop your momentum so your defender has enough time to catch up and stop you. But if you get a good animation and it's really fluent, then you can get a lot of dunks using this play. So when you're doing the handoff by holding B or circle if you're on PlayStation, keep holding it until he literally touches the ball and then after that you can let it go and that'll give you the best chance at getting a good fluent handoff animation the next play is the quick 43 series 3 you can call this for anybody that has three point priority and you have two opportunities for wing threes as well as a lob opportunity so right here i call it for kimba and he's gonna start with the ball on the wing then i'm gonna pass it off to tatum and pass it off to williams and then pass it off to brown and kimba will be on the block but he'll get a screen from both tatum and williams come out to the wing and get open for a three and if you're not open, just hold the ball and Tatum and Williams will come back and screen for you again and you can create a shot from that. In this example right here, I end up getting a lob. So again, I have the ball with Kimba and instead of passing it to Tatum, I'm gonna just dribble over to the top and then pass it to Williams on the elbow. Then Tatum sets a screen for Kimba and he gets behind the defense. So I throw him a lob, but I do not recommend throwing lobs to Kimba Walker or any other small guard. And in this last example, I end up getting a three. So again, I have the ball with Kimba. Then I dribble over to the wing and pass it to Williams on the elbow. And he's not open for the lob. So I give it back to Tatum. And then I'll wait and Williams will set a screen for Kimba. He'll come up to the wing and get open for a three. So this play is pretty good and you have a lot of really good options to score, but it is kind of weird though because even though it's a three-point play and Kimba, Tatum, and Brown all have three-point priority, I couldn't call it for Tatum and Brown in practice mode. I can only call it for Kimba, which is kind of weird. And even in a real game, I couldn't call it for Tatum and Brown by default. So I had to use the favorite plays feature and assign it to one of them so I can call it for them, which is kind of weird. I don't know why that is. So just keep that in mind if you use the Celtics or use this in my team with somebody else that that could happen and the last play is the quick boston snap two you can call this for anybody that has three point priority and is designed to get you a three on the wing so right here, I call it for Kimber, but Brown is the one that gets the shot. So I have the ball on the wing with Smart, and I'm going to pass it to the top to Williams, and then I'm going to dribble off to the wing and pass it to Kimber in the corner. Then Brown will get a screen from both Smart and Tatum, come up to the wing and get open for a three. 
And if you're not open, just hold the ball and the play goes into a pick and fade with Tatum and you can create a shot from that. So this play is pretty good, but just like the last play, it's also kind of weird because I called it for Kimba, but Brown got the shot. And I noticed that when I called it for Kimba and Smart, Brown got the shot. When I called it for Brown and Tatum, Smart got the shot. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, that's just how this play is and it's kind of weird. So that's pretty much it for the plays. This playbook is pretty good. I like it. The Celtics usually have a pretty good playbook. And the rest of the video is just some clips of me using some of these plays against real people when playing out online. So I hope you're enjoy it i hope this helped you thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content Why? He read it, he could have stole that pass. <laughs> 